Hello and welcome to beautiful Victoria, BC. My name is Ira Wiley. If you're thinking about moving to Victoria or just want to discover something new about our city, then this neighborhood guides for you. I'm a lifelong resident of Victoria myself, and I'm still discovering new and interesting places as I work as a realtor on Southern Vancouver Island. Greater Victoria, or the Capital Region District, is comprised of 13 municipalities. Each municipality has its own council, police and fire departments, schools, and bylaws. This means that if you are choosing a neighborhood to live in, you may find key differences in each area that could affect your lifestyle and the kind of home you live in. For example, secondary suites are not allowed in some areas like Oak Bay. Out on the West Shore, on the other hand, most homes are built with suites and the zoning is much more friendly to high density. Saanich now allows garden suites, but you won't find many high-rise buildings like downtown. We also have microclimates throughout the South Island, so it's possible to see snow, sun and rain all in one day within a 20 minute drive. Please subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions at all or you just want to share what you love about living in Victoria. Let's start with Victoria proper. With 90,000 residents of the almost 400,000 in the Greater Victoria District, Victoria is the second most populated municipality and where it all happens in BC's capital city. Downtown is the center of tourism, with many iconic attractions including the Inner Harbour, the Empress, Beacon Hill Park, Royal BC Museum and Chinatown, all within walking distance. At the heart of downtown, you will find many world-class restaurants and shops and plenty to do. I recommend lunch at Pagliacci's, then take a stroll down Government Street. Most residents of downtown live in high-rise condos and they are building more every year. There are also many unique heritage conversions in low-rise buildings as well. For example, the Janion, next to Chinatown, that allows for short-term vacation rentals. No visit to Victoria is complete without visiting Beacon Hill Park. Then if you head west, you will find James Bay, known for its float houses and Fisherman's Wharf. Fairfield and Cook Street Village are also less than a 20 minute walk into town and offer a quiet lifestyle close to the water. Both James Bay and Cook Street neighborhoods have their own little mini city centers with everything you might need. Rockland is home to the famous Craig Derrick Castle and Governor General House, and this neighborhood features beautiful estate homes that are often several million dollars. Just outside downtown Victoria is Fernwood, a fantastic, family-friendly neighborhood with lots of character and heritage homes. Fernwood Square is the town centre with many cafes, pubs and Fernwood Pizza Company. Further north you will find Central Park, the Hillside and Mayfair areas, which offer a nice balance of proximity to town and neighbourhoods with low-rise condos and detached homes. With plenty of parks and amenities, living in Victoria is great for those who want access to it all. Downtown is accessible by car via Douglas and Blanchard streets, which are the two main corridors into town. You can also use a ferry, bike, or even float plane. My personal favorite way to get downtown is to bike on the Galloping Goose Trail, which connects the regional bike trails all the way up to Sydney. To the east of downtown Victoria is Oak Bay. Oak Bay is home to some of the most expensive homes on Vancouver Island. The average detached home price here is close to $2 million, with some waterfront estates going even into the tens of millions. The streets are lined with many beautiful character houses, some of which are being replaced by new, modern style homes. You won't find too many condo buildings, but there are a few, such as these ones. Generally, the council is not friendly to new high density being built, and secondary suites are not allowed. Oak Bay Avenue is the heart of it all with some really great pubs, coffee shops, restaurants, and boutique shopping. There are many community events held annually in Oak Bay, such as the Oak Bay Tea Party and the Collector Car Festival. One of the things that make Oak Bay great is you are always only a short walk or drive to the water. My favorite place to take the kids is Willows Beach, which is beautiful year-round. The Oak Bay Marina, Royal Victoria Yacht Club, Beach Hotel, and Victoria Golf Course are all nearby as well. Oak Bay itself is divided into several distinct neighborhoods such as Estevan Village and Uplands, with its iconic Upland Drive and estate-sized properties. If you can afford it, Oak Bay offers a fantastic, quiet lifestyle for families and retirees alike. To the west of downtown Victoria is Esquimalt and Victoria West. The area looking directly towards downtown, just across the bridge, is called the Sarnies. This is predominantly newer condo buildings. 
Lifestyle here is a bit more quiet than downtown, which only is a short walk over the bridge away. There's a gorgeous waterfront causeway which winds along the shore. Further in, you will find Esquimalt, which is home to many residential neighborhoods and detached homes. The Canadian Forces Base, home to Canada's Pacific Naval Fleet, is located here with many members of the Navy working and living nearby. Esquimalt and Vic West offer a good balance of residential neighborhood feel, yet still within access of downtown. There is also a good mix of character houses, waterfront retreats, new condos and townhomes. I recommend one of the many fantastic restaurants or cafes such as Spiral Cafe, Fry's Bread, Blue Nile Restaurant, or La Belle Petite Poutine, and then take a walk through Saks Point Park. North of downtown is Saanich, one of the largest municipalities with over 100,000 residents. Saanich has many diverse neighborhoods ranging from high density in the urban core in the uptown area, million dollar waterfront properties on 10 Mile Point, and rural acreages out in West Saanich in the Prospect Lake area. Saanich is the education hub of Victoria and is home to the University of Victoria, Camosun College and many desirable K-12 schools. For those who like the outdoors, Saanich is home to Mount Douglas which has countless hiking trails to explore. Elk and Beaver Lake offer year-round water access and with nature sanctuaries such as Swan Lake, anyone who loves the outdoors will be happy here. You are also never too far from beach access in Saanich especially if you're in the seaside community of Cordova Bay. The district of Saanich maintains many great recreational facilities as well. Many of the homes in Saanich were built in the 50s, 60s and 70s and you'll find the lot size a lot larger here than most of Victoria. The density is increasing with some new high-rise developments and condos starting to appear in areas near Mayfair Mall. West Saanich, the Prospect Lake area and Oldfield Road offer plenty of horse properties, small farms and acreages for anyone looking for a little bit more space. Be sure to check out the original Red Barn Market just up the road and also Mosi, which is probably one of my favorite bakeries in town. Further up the peninsula is Central Saanich. Saanichton is the heart of the municipality and has a small town feel. One of my favorite areas is Brentwood Bay, where you can catch a ferry across the water to Mill Bay if you want to bypass the Malahat Drive. The world famous Bouchard Gardens is also located here, where tourists flock to every year. Central Sandwich offers a very nice balance of space, rural lifestyle, as well as access to amenities such as the Panorama Recreation Centre and Peninsula Hospital. There are plenty of active farms to buy fresh produce from, such as Silverill and Mitchell Farms. Being halfway up the peninsula, downtown Victoria is only about a 20 to 25 minute drive away depending on traffic and it's even closer to the ferries, airport and Sydney. There is a wide variety of homes including detached homes, acreages and even mobile homes, but not many condos or high density in Central Sandwich. There are also many First Nations lands here which sometimes offer unique leasehold opportunities for homes. My personal favourite spot to explore in Central Saanich is Island View Beach. At the top of the peninsula is North Saanich. The BC Ferry Terminal is located here which offers service to Vancouver and the Gulf Islands. The neighbourhood of Deep Cove is home to some of the most luxurious and private estates on the island. Many of these homes cost several million dollars and have large acreages and waterfront access. North Saanich is perfect for those wanting privacy, natural beauty easy access to the ferries and airport. Sydney is a small seaside town located on the Saanich Peninsula, just east of Victoria International Airport. The heart of Sydney is Beacon Avenue, which has plenty of great restaurants and boutique shops and small businesses. Traditionally, Sydney has had a large amount of retirees, but the demographic is changing as families see the appeal of raising children in this quiet seaside community. Sydney has many new condo developments, townhomes, duplexes and single-family detached homes. Sydney is a great choice of neighbourhood for anyone wanting a small town feel, a quiet lifestyle and to be by the ocean. Be sure to check out Sydney Pier, the distillery and then have lunch at one of the many great restaurants. We're back down the peninsula, just outside of Victoria proper again. View Royal is a small municipality to the northwest of Victoria, between Saanich and the West Shore. Victoria General Hospital is located here, which is the largest hospital on Vancouver Island. Another landmark in View Royal is Thetis Lake Park, 
with many kilometers of swimming beaches and hiking trails. Feud Royal is relatively small in area, but a good location for those not wanting to go as far as the West Shore, but still have access to everything. Langford is the heart of the West Shore. It has been the fastest growing community in Victoria for the past 10 years and the Mayor and Council are very friendly to new developments. The City of Langford is divided into distinct areas such as Bear Mountain, Happy Valley, Mill Hill and the Goldstream area. The Millstream area is a popular destination as it has Victoria's only Costco and several other big box stores. There are a large amount of outdoor and recreation areas in Langford such as golf on Bear Mountain exploring Goldstream Provincial Park and swimming in Langford Lake. Because of all the development, new amenities are being built as well, such as the new YMCA in the West Hills and Starlight Stadium, home to Pacific FC. Langford has a huge variety of homes available, from executive homes on the top of Bear Mountain, starter homes in Happy Valley, and brand new condos and townhomes in West Hills, and many older residential neighborhoods such as Glen Lake. New restaurants and dining options have been increasing as the population grows and the neighborhood matures. You will, however, need a car in Langford, as the downtown core is small and everything is spread out compared to Victoria proper, and the public transit isn't quite as developed yet. Langford is a great choice for young families, professionals, or anyone who prefers a newer built home. Just north of Langford is the Highlands, a relatively small community population-wise on a large land area. Mount Work is the backdrop to much of the highland and the highest peak on Saanich Peninsula with plenty of hiking trails and fantastic views. There is more rain and colder temperatures here than the rest of Victoria, so you will need four-wheel drive in the winter when it snows to navigate the windy roads and hills. Most properties in the highlands are acreages and have wells and septic systems. The highlands is great for anyone wanting privacy and a rural lifestyle. As you leave Langford towards the ocean, you will arrive in Colwood. Colwood is home to Hatley Castle, Royal Roads University, and the new community of Royal Bay. Residents and visitors often enjoy golf at Olympic View Golf Course or head down to Esquimalt Lagoon for a picnic. Colwood offers great family-friendly neighborhoods. Further west is Pachosen. A visit to Pachosen would not be complete without stopping by My Chosen Cafe. Matheson Lake is popular for swimming and hiking. Woody's Lagoon and Petter Bay are also very popular spots. But Trojan is a semi-rural community with a great quality of life. And finally, last but not least, we end in Souk. Souk is about 45 minutes to an hour from downtown Victoria and is one of the largest undeveloped municipalities, but that is quickly changing. The road is a bit windy to get to Souk, so it isn't as easy as a commute compared to the peninsula, but the privacy, rural lifestyle, and sense of community out here appeals to many residents. There is a lot of natural beauty to be found out here, and you are always only minutes away to be trails and beaches like East Souk Park. Souk has many great schools and a wonderful sense of community, and many young families are choosing to move out here. I hope this neighborhood guide has been helpful. If you have any questions about moving to Victoria or buying or selling a home here, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'd also love to hear what you love about living in Victoria, so feel free to leave a question or a comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.